Hi guys, Jay Science here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys another cool science experiment. So for the science experiment, you will need vinegar, a measuring cup, baking soda, and a spoon. So first of all, you're going to have to take your measuring cup and vinegar and measure about one liter of vinegar. So you're also going to need a pan and you're going to have to pour all the vinegar into this pan. So now you're going to mix the baking soda with the vinegar and when you do this just try to do as much baking soda as you can and when you do this also do it slow to prevent any vinegar from spilling over. So now you just have to stir up the baking soda and vinegar and this will make sure all the baking soda is dissolved into the vinegar and after that it just goes to the oven. So now you have to boil down the baking soda and vinegar and you will know when to stop when you see crystals forming along the sides of the pan and the baking soda and vinegar is about 90% gone. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm done. So as you can see, most of the vinegar and baking soda is gone. And also there is crystals all along the sides of this pan. And that tells you that it's ready and you can just go ahead and turn off the oven and stop boiling the hot ice. So this is what will become the hot ice. And now all you have to do is just pour it into a cup and let it cool in the refrigerator for about 40 minutes. So I left the hot ice into the fridge for about 30 minutes and it feels a bit warm and when you leave it in the fridge to cool down you also have to put something over to prevent anything from falling into the hot ice and starting the reaction. So other than that you can just take off the aluminum foil and probably touch the hot ice to start the reaction. And if it doesn't work when you touch it, just go ahead and get a crystal that is in the pan and drop it in and we'll start the reaction. So I'm just going to show you a better angle. So I'm just going to start the reaction by touching the hot ice and as you can see crystals are already starting to form. So as you can see this one didn't work as well as it should have, there's still a bunch of water at the top and all the crystals are pretty loose. So I'm just going to restart by pouring all this into a plastic bag and putting the plastic bag into boiling water and putting it back into the fridge to cool down. So this time I let the hot ice cool for about 40 minutes and it was about room temperature and now I'm just going to start the reaction by touching it. And as you can see this time it works way better. So as you can see it's pretty much a solid now and if you turn it upside down only a few droplets of water falls out but other than that it's pretty much a solid piece of hot ice and yeah I would like to thank Fun Science 101 for suggesting this video for me to do and you guys can also give me future suggestions for science experiments that you guys might want me to do so other than that thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe